Hey guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to the Lions franchise. Today we're gonna play the Jacksonville Jaguars. And as you can see, Kenny Galladay is not happy with how we're spreading the ball around. So we're gonna say that he's not gonna get more touches, even though I'm gonna try to give him more touches. Let's go to upgrading. We have Tyrell Crosby, our right tackle. He's fine up until now. He has been good. He has not allowed too many sacks, even though his overall is really low. And his ratings get better. Deshaun Hand is our edge rusher. We're gonna go for power rusher. And he gets three of them. Jeff Okuda, our number one corner for the future. He's gonna get a man coverage upgrade. And he gets two of them. Also, acceleration. Yeah, he dropped the pick last week. Let's see when he gets his first interception at the pro level. JJ Ortega Whiteside has been involved in the offense quite heavily to start the season. And he gets three spec catch as if that wasn't already high enough. He now has 93 and also 88 catch in traffic and 85 catching. He is really good. Marvin Hall is our backup slot receiver. He has been really productive when on the field, but Danny Mandola has been real productive too. He gets two catching there. Romeo Aquara up until now has been a backup. And Julian Aquara, his brother, instead starts at right, right outside linebacker. We're gonna go into Run Stopper because that's where he still has a weakness, but also his coverage archetype needs to get better. But since we're probably gonna be switching from a 3 4 to a 4 3, he will be playing end in that scenario, so we don't need to upgrade his coverage all that much. Austin Bryant out of Clemson gets an upgrade here. Now Frank Ragna is our starting center and he gets three pass block finesse. The ratings are really solid. Let's look at the Jacksonville Jaguar roster. Gardner Minshew is their quarterback. He has good accuracy ratings and he's gonna be throwing it to TJ Sharp a lot. Josh Allen is the most disruptive force. He still is on a rookie contract. Miles Jack is such a good linebacker. And also CJ Henderson, the rookie. He was my number two corner coming out of the draft class. Let's kick it off, it's Matt Prater and we're underway. It's a touchback, fielded in the end zone and the Jacksonville Jaguars are gonna come out at their own 25 yard line. Motion on the first play, it's Keelan Cole and he doesn't get very far, it's a rush for no gain. Minshew in the pocket, moving around, waiting, passes it, it's complete to D.D. Westbrook and he is shoved out of bounds. First down, Jaguars. 
Minshew makes an adjustment, is in the pocket, gets it off, and it's Chris Thompson, but he doesn't get very far. Jalani Tavai on the tackle, it's a TFL. Minshew in the pocket, he throws, and it's incomplete to DJ Chark. He dropped it on the slant. Third and 11. Minshew in the pocket, and he gets pressured, and the ball falls incomplete. Jaguars punt, and Stafford hands it off to Kerryon Johnson. There is a little bit of room there. It's seven yards. Stafford split backfield, and DeAndre Swift doesn't get anywhere. It's a rush for minus four yards. And that's Josh Allen, disruptive force. Third and seven. Stafford and it's incomplete. It's Kenny Galladay, but there was tight coverage and Ronnie Harrison knocked it out Jaguars take over at the 44 and he ends it off to four nets, but he stopped immediately no gain It's Will Harris on the stop Minshew it's a pass and it's complete this DJ Jark on the outside Justin Coleman on the tackle Minshew hands it off to Chris Thompson. There is a huge opening and he gets tackled by Jerron Harmon and he would have gotten even more after that. Would have been a touchdown probably. Minshew in the red zone. Throws it complete to Keelan Cole. Minshew third and five. He throws it and it's almost picked. It's Jeff Okuda and he dropped it again. That was the second chance for him to get a pick this season. And they run the fake on the field goal, but it's knocked down by corner Daryl Roberts. Still no points on the board. They should not have run the fake. Swift on the reception. He tries to spin away. He gets about nine. Third and two. Stafford drops back, pocket is clean, and Ortega Whiteside gets away. He caught the ball on the hitch, turned around, and CJ Henderson looked very badly. He got 24 yards after catch, and that's a really great play by Ortega Whiteside. It's a dart on the hitch, and CJ Henderson did not look good. Ortega Whiteside gets tackled by the shoelaces by Gerard Wilson. Uh, DeAndre Swift on the carry, but it's a TFL. Ronnie Harrison is there. Second and 12 coming up. Full back in the game, and he throws. It's an RPO. Kenny Galladay got it on the slant. First down. It's a gain of about 17. Swift in the backfield now. Stafford drops back. It's a slip screen. And Swift gets away from the defender, he gains about 12 yards and fights ahead and out of bounds. Second and 10, it's Carrion Johnson and it's a new first down, he even falls through the tackle forward to the one yard line. Stafford hands it off to Carrion Johnson but he's denied at the goal line. Goal line stand by the Jaguars on first down, second down, Swift, touchdown. He could run into the end zone untouched. It's his first NFL score on the ground. DeAndre Swift with the touchdown. Blocking shaped out to be perfect. And that puts the Lions on the board 7-0. Minshew takes over. Clean pocket. He throws it. It's complete. It's Eifert on the catch. It's about 9 yards. And that already ends the first quarter. Third and two. Minshew hands it off to Fournette and he stopped short. It's Will Harris on the TFL. Fourth and two. Jaguars have to punt. I formation now for the Lions. Carry on Johnson on the outside. He tries to truck the defender but still it's a first down. Ronnie Harrison stopped him after a gain of 11 yards. Fullback in the game again. Karrion Johnson gets the handoff. Runs outside. There's a lane. Kenny Galladay with a perfect block. Johnson is down the sideline and he gets caught by CJ Henderson, the rookie corner. 
but it's a gain of 35 yards. He already is at 68 yards and you only need 62.5 per game to reach a thousand yards in the season. And DeAndre Swift gets the next handoff, it's a gain of 10. Stafford, clean pocket, throws it up, it's Kenny Galladay up top and he got it in double coverage. What a catch by Kenny Galladay. And that's why he got 57.3 million dollars. Stafford drops back, throws it immediately and Kenny Galladay goes up and gets it. Great catch, what a touchdown. 14-0 Lions. Minchu goes empty, throws it complete, Keelan Cole 20 yards on the slant. Two tight ends on the field. Minchu motions out his running back, throws it, it's complete, it's DJ Chark on the streak. He just threw it perfectly into the gap between the corner and the safety. Deron Harmon stops him, but it's a gain of 17 yards. Fournette on the outside, but gets tackled by Chalani Tavai. It's a gain of four. Minshew in the pocket, and he's sacked. Back at the 41-yard line, which knocks him out of field goal range. Will Harris on the middle linebacker blitz. And Karrion Johnson to the outside. It's a gain of a handful. Second and six, Matt Stafford on the RPO, but Ortega Whiteside gets caught up. There was no blocking there. Three defenders in the area. Third and eight, Stafford drops back, throws a dart. It's Ortega Whiteside and it's a new first down. CJ Henderson had close coverage, but still could not make the play. First and 10, Lions. Stafford drops back. Throws it over the middle, Danny Amendola to the outside and he's caught up at the sideline. It's DJ Hayden on the tackle. Amendola's first involvement. Now Karrion Johnson with the handoff. He navigates around the fullback and he has a gain of about 12 yards. Nice run up the gut now is DeAndre Swift and there is no room there. No room whatsoever. Joe Schobert on the TFL. Stafford motions the receiver, looks to throw. It's Kenny Galladay. He runs, gets about nine yards, but he's shy of the first down. And the lines go hurry up. It's 11 personnel. Stafford drops back. It's TJ Hawkinson on the out route. And it's a new first down. Gain of about four yards. Second and seven now for the Lions. Stafford drops back. Throws it across the middle. It's DeAndre Swift. He tries to turn a corner, but he still has about 14 yards. First and goal from the five. DeAndre Swift gets the handoff. It's a touchdown. His second on the day. And his second in his NFL career. He was untouched until the end zone. Perfect blocking. Jaguars couldn't do a thing about it. 21 nothing. Minchu deep drop back. He moves around and he tries to throw, but he gets sacked. It's Trey Flowers. Timeout Jaguars. Minchu. 11 personnel, he stands in the pocket, tries to move around, he throws, it's complete, it's Keelan Cole, but it only gets him a handful of yards. Timeout, Jaguars again, one left. Fournette on the handoff, doesn't get very far. The ball comes out at the end, but they will overturn that, pretty sure. Now it's Logan Cook's time to punt, and there is... Zeros on the clock. Jamal Agnew tries to return it. He runs outside. Jukes out a defender, but couldn't get away from the rest. And that takes us to halftime. Superior performance by the Lions. It's 21-0. They play a really good football game. And the Jaguars don't stand a chance. And you can see it in the yardage department. 
and then the average yardage per play. Now our rivals, the Minnesota Vikings, can not do a whole lot. Julio Jones has already eight receptions for 107 yards and two scores. Matt Ryan in total three scores and already over 200 yards passing. Welcome to the third quarter. Stafford hands it off to DeAndre Swift on the delayed give and he gets up the middle, gain of about 13 yards. Stafford, deep drop back, throws it, incomplete. He tried to hit Kenny Galladay, but there was too many defenders there. Stafford, deep drop back. Pockets is clean. Kenny Galladay on the reception, but it's short. It's fourth and three. Lions punt. He moves the tight end, hands it off to Fournette, but... Danny Shelton immediately shed the block and is there. It's a TFL for Shelton. High snap now for Minshew. Chris Thompson tries to bounce it to the outside, but Justin Coleman's there, tackles him for another TFL. Third and 14, Minshew on his own goal line, moves into the end zone and he's dropped. It's Trey Flowers. That's a safety for Detroit and the Jaguars have to punt the football. Minshew had no receiver downfield to throw to and Trey Flowers just drops him. Karrion Johnson on the handoff. There's a lot of room outside. It's a gain of about 15 yards. First down Lions. Karrion Johnson reaches 500 yards on the season. Stafford throws complete to Kenny Galladay. It's a gain of about eight. Second and two. He ends it off to Karrion Johnson. He tries to bounce it to the outside, but there is no room there. And there is a flag down. It's Joe Schobert on the face mask. 15-yard penalty and first down Lions at the 27-yard line. It's already field goal range. And Johnson around the outside. And there's another flag down. It was a gain of about 12 yards, but they get him for illegal block in the back. It's Nick Bodden, the fullback on the penalty. He motions out DeAndre Swift, it's an RPO. Kenny Galladay, perfect block. He gets around the outside and he tiptoes down the sideline and is tackled out of bounds by Gerard Wilson. It's another catch for DeAndre Swift. He now is at 52 yards on the day. Karrion Johnson, handoff, falls forward through the tackle, gain of seven yards. Stafford motions a receiver, drops back, tries to throw it, but he's pressured and the ball falls incomplete. Third and three, Stafford drops back. It's Lance and he's picked off. It's Leon Jacobs on the pick and he tries to return it and Stafford can't catch up. Nick Bodden is blocked on the left and it's a pick six. Bad decision making. He threw it way too late. He should have thrown it earlier. He tried to hit Kenny Galladay on the slant and Leon Jacobs was there lurking just to pick it off. Jaguars go for two now and Tyler Effort masses Jelani Tavai. Great play by Tyler Eifert. It's 23 to 8. Quick throw to the outside. Ortega Whiteside is tackled immediately. Third and nine. Stafford drops back. It's a seven step drop back. He throws it and it's complete. It's TJ Hawkinson. What a grab. He pulls the one hander 15 yards downfield. Great play on third down. What a concentration. He was covered by Joe Schobert. It was really tight and he still makes the one-hander. Fullback and tight end in the backfield. Carry on Johnson on the handoff, but he doesn't get very far. It's a gain of a couple. Stafford drops back. Pocket is clean. He waits and throws it complete over the middle. It's Danny Amendola. New first down at midfield. Stafford, first down, he drops back, pocket is clean, Danny Amendola on the outside, on the crosser, again, it's a gain of 20 yards. 
Amendola has a busy day today too. It's already a few important reception. It's an RPO following up and it's Kenny Galladay. Actually, it's Ortega Whiteside on the catch. Third and three. And Stafford is dropped. After the RPO to Ortega Whiteside, the blitz got through. It's Miles Jack and they have to go for the field goal. Kick is up and good right down the middle 26 to 8. That brings us to the fourth quarter and Minshew has 11 personnel on the field. Clean pocket throws it outside caught DD Westbrook first down. Minshew drops back he throws it complete DJ Jark on the slant new first down. Actually, it's second and inches, but DJ Chark on the next land catches it again. It's a gain of about 10 and it's a new first down. Minchu short drop back, moves around a little bit and it's Keelan Cole on the reception. Justin Coleman could not cover him. Minchu drop back, he throws it outside, it's caught and DD Westbrook has a new first down. Minshew makes an adjustment, throws it immediately, it gets tipped around a lot and falls incomplete. Minshew over the middle, but Jelani Tavai knocks it away from Tyler Eifert. Minshew throws it to the outside in Desmond Trufant's coverage and the ball is caught. Pump fake now by Minshew, tries to throw it, but he gets pressured, ball falls incomplete. Second and 10, Minshew in the pocket, clean pocket this time. It's DJ Chark over the middle, it's a gain of about seven. Third and four, and it's caught by DD Westbrook on the freak play. Minshew into the back of his own lineman, and Westbrook just was there, caught it and ran into the end zone. Now he's dabbing. I formation, carry on Johnson right up the gut. He falls forward to gain about five yards. Nick Bodden in the game again. Stafford throws it to the outside. It's complete to Kenny Galladay first down. It's a gain of about seven yards. He ends it off to Karrion Johnson this time. Not much there. Maybe a gain of a couple. Swift in the game now. Stafford drops back. And the pressure arrives during the throwing motion. It's incomplete for DeAndre Swift over the middle. He had a lot of space if he just had the right amount of time. This time over the middle, it's swift, it's caught, it's 17 yards and the new first down and they're already in Jacksonville territory. First down, carry on Johnson, hand off, but not much there, maybe a gain of a couple. Second and seven, Stafford motions the receiver, it's a fake, it's DeAndre Swift and he's right up the middle, he has a gain of seven. Second and nine now, carry on Johnson right up the gut, but it's stuffed. Third down. Stafford over the middle is TJ Hawkinson wide open. He had so much space and he could run downfield. That already brings up the two minutes warning. And Stafford goes down on the next play. It's Taven Bryan. Stafford on second down moves. Motions the receiver, it's swift on the handoff, but not much there. Maybe a gain of a couple. Third and goal from the eight yard line. Stafford moves back, moves back and tries to throw it, but is hit during the throw and the ball falls incomplete. Fourth down. Jacksonville keeps it a two score game. It's 29 to 15. Minchu throws to the outside, it's complete to DJ Chark. Jeff Okuda on the coverage and the tackle. Jacksonville goes hurry up now. Minshew drops back, throws it to the outside. It's Tyler Eifert, but he gets it knocked away from Justin Coleman. Second and 10, Jaguars. He throws it, Trufant on the coverage, but DD Westbrook makes the catch. It's a new first down. Jaguars hurry up again. Short drop back, Minshew throws over the middle. It's caught. First down Jaguars, Tyler Eifert. Tight ends really are a problem in this game. Minchu throw to the outside, it's Keelan Cole and he was not covered very good. Jacksonville goes hurry up again. 
Minshew short drop back, throws it to the outside. Tyler Eifert again. Minshew in the pocket. It's clean. He throws it on the slant. Caught by Keelan Cole. 16 seconds left. First and goal. Minshew moves around the pocket. Pressure does not arrive. He moves around even more, but he gets hit during the throwing motion. Second and goal. Minshew moves around a lot again, and this time he's sacked. And the ball is out, but it doesn't matter. Clock hits zero, and that's a victory for the Lions. They move to two and three. Minshew tried to do a lot today, but he did not have the receivers or the O-line to succeed. Lions had a very so solid game. And Kenny Galladay had an amazing catch. Also DeAndre Swift with two touchdowns. I also threw a bad pick. I just threw it to the wrong receiver. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry about that. But we still collected the win, even though it was a pick six. And the other touchdown for the Jaguars was really fluky too. So in reality, the offense didn't really produce a touchdown. Matt Stafford, 21 of 30 for 257, 70% completion, completion percentage. Kerryon Johnson had a supreme game, 20 for 128, no touchdowns. DeAndre Swift had the two touchdowns, but only 3.5 a carry. But he also had 68 yards in the air. And Kenny Galladay had 57 in the score. Ortega Whiteside, 46. On really two catches. Joe Schobert was really busy today. And he also had two TFLs. Also DJ Hayden. Romeo Aquara with two sacks. Also Will Harris on the blitz. And Trey Flowers with the sack in the end zone for the safety. Pick two Leon Jacobs. And now let's see what Kenny Galladay got from that game because I spread the ball to him he got XP all right that's gonna do it for this episode if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe for more Alliance franchise see ya in the next episode until then spread some love